What up, yo? Morning, Kevin. What, what up, what up, what up? <laughs> I just, I just got to get more from you. Like how we were talking yesterday about the, uh, like the mission statement and everything. Mm-hmm. Just getting like a better understanding of like what loyalty really means to you. Because it's loyalty, loyalty, honor, and respect, right? Mm-hmm. So just getting like a better understanding of what it means to you. We ain't, we ain't got to do it right now, but it, it helps when I'm, when I'm working on the designs. We can go over it. Yeah, we can always go over it. Because the thing is, that's all I was trying to tell um, Tracy. If you took the Bible literally, that means it mean you hate gay people. Like you're not supposed to hate gay people. <laughs> right. You're not supposed to hate anybody. First right. of all, if you take the Bible literally, no one's going to heaven. Period. Right. Right. We're all, all. Done. But, we're yeah, all we're done. Yeah, we're all done. Yeah. And uh, and like I feel like in every religion and every, even if you're an atheist, that's still a religion. Um, nature itself is like you you don't fuck with it. Like that's a, a sacred Facts. ground. Facts. Nature is a sacred ground. Nature, you know? wildlife, wildlife, single yeah. mothers who who the kids are getting their nerves. Don't like these are things you stay away from. Yeah, Avoid. you stay away from those things. Yes. And wait, and I recently watched something. I forgot what I watched it on, and I agreed with her because I was thinking it like this too. Um, where it says, you know, God bounced the devil into hell, and she was like. If the devil is in hell and we're here, but all this bad stuff happens in hell, all this bad shit's happening where we're at. So wouldn't this be hell? Wouldn't we all be in hell? And then I was like, damn. And so when she said it at the same time, I was like, well, damn, what the fuck did I do? Did I got bounced my ass down here? And she was like, the flesh is so sensitive. It's tempted to sin at all times. So, and we're not supposed to, to sin or be tempted with anything or lust or none of that. And I was like, damn, maybe we really is in hell for real. Like everybody's a form of their own personal version of the devil. And you you battle on yourself. Yeah, but then you got like people you. like Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk. They, they niggas like this hell? She I should did this a long time ago. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like yeah. that's the flip side of it. It's like damn it is. that's crazy if you really do think about it. Like I what religion is the one that say like after you die, like you go to purgatory, or whatever? If you don't, you don't like do something while you're alive. Like you die, you go to purgatory until like just you do something in your death that releases it, your soul to heaven or something like that. Oh, uh, I know what you're talking about. Yes, yeah. like you, you like until you, you fulfill your purpose, then you'll move on. Then you'll move on. Like shit. you'll stay yeah. in purgatory until you fulfill that purpose. Like yeah. if you live your whole life and you have to do, you pretty much have to do these things. You die, right? You didn't do that. You're going to be stuck in purgatory, which kind of explains like spirits and ghosts. And they say they had to fulfill that purpose in order for them to move on for their souls to be actually be at rest, be at peace or whatever that next transition is. But yeah. I, I can't remember which one that was still. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I just, I, just can't, I never really like knew the exact correct name of the religion. I don't want to be messing with nobody. I think it's, like, I think it's a part of like uh, paganism. Paganism? Paganism? I don't think so. I know. I know it's in Christianity, like in the beginning. I really don't want to spend all people tales on this because I do have some ratchet okay. shit I do want to get into. Yeah. I mean, we can. This is. I ain't trying to derail. Oh, listen, listen, listen. I'm with whatever. This is my first ep back. I, technically, tomorrow's gonna be the first record back for Ready K. So I'm. I'm getting my. I'm knocking the dust off. So what's hey. up? This is game one. This is game it one. It is. It Did is. Did you talk to her about uh about the game gaming idea? Oh yeah, I did. I can bring it up now. So what I want to do is do like a little LHR type, LHR and type cohesion type thing, like team building thing. So I figured that we could all play uh, Among Us. It's like a group thing, you know what I'm saying? It'd be fun and back could record and make it like a little content thing, you know what I'm saying? Chop it up, put some out. Your army bag, huh? You, got, you just got into your army, army bag. Yeah, that's what. Because I was thinking about. It. That's why I, <laughs> I didn't bring it up to her. Because I was like, I really don't. That's like. Oh, uh, uh, are we doing Sergeant Times training? Right. Okay. The way no, I, was, I was thinking like, FRG. Me. I was like, hey, oh, we FRG. Yeah, I, was like, <laughs> I hate that even worse. I know. Fact, I was like, is long. That's why I didn't bring it up to her. I was like, that dude's like FRG. Me. I don't really. Want, I ain't with that shit. <laughs> we, no, let's I'm, just be I'm, I'm with it. I mean, me and Fight to be having our little. You know, he be playing a game with me already anyway. So I heard. I'm learning. Yeah, oh, he, yeah he learned. He learned it. He learned it. I tried. I, I told Tokyo about it, so he said he was going to uh, download it so he can hop on with us too. So, yeah. 
you know, do some. Nah, I'm good here. Yeah, I got those little notes, whatever. So, fuck it, man. Here we go. I don't know what's. I don't know where Tokyo is. Like, uh, he's dropping a. Oh, he got to feed his dog and put his last one in the dry. All right, growing up shit. <laughs> okay. I'm so excited. These next couple of weeks is about to be so fire. Like, I'm so excited for this shit, this content to come out. Like, we got some gems dropping, you know. Oh, I just hit up Aunt. So I'm just waiting for him to hit me back. Uncle Trip. Yeah, if he can, we can get all that in the month of July, that's fireworks for real. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't, I always forget, like, he he got his, like, own weed, weed line. Yeah, I seen that. I seen that. I always forget about that. Cause he always try to talk to me about it. I'm like, Uncle, I don't smoke. <laughs> Shit. Shit. I'm trying to get into that business for real. You trying to invest in your own strand? Yeah, I'm trying to do the whole thing. I'm trying my own strand, my own After shop, this, after this, after this, after this, get at me. I'm gonna give you my homeboy's information. He invested in his first strand. He working on his second strand. Shit is fire. Mm. Fire. <laughs> it's fire. Yeah, he just had a... Uh, a meeting in Vegas for one of the uh, dispensaries trying to pick him up, buy his stuff and sell it. I know he has some coming out of New York and Detroit. So yeah, That'd be fine. Like, get at me, yes. I got you, for I sure. got you. Because <laughs> <laughs> he, be, he be using his product, I be testing it on people I know, and I be testing it sometimes. Especially like he has his uh, THC lemonade, that's just crack, but it, it's, it gets you. Dude, he does his own pens. I need some shit. This he morning. does his own. His I he got his, his his desserts that are, and then he got his food that is also. So yeah, Damn, I got doing, one. What you since got? We, since we're talking about weed, did y'all hear the, the uh, old girl? Old oh, girl. Yeah, got she some. popped hot, and they yeah. not letting her compete yes. at the Olympics. Yeah, that's trash. Why? Cause she failed a drug test. It was yeah. a banned substance. Why is it? But think, I, listen, I don't. I'm, I'm a. Fan I think it's world. dumb. It's stupid. Michael it's Phelps did the same thing, and the nigga won twenty six medals. Yeah, but it was like after the fact, though. Like he, like after he won everything, he he said like. It don't it's matter. Dumb, it's dumb because it's still a banned substance in the Olympics. Yeah, so well, they should have stripped all his stuff. Good. They should but, strip so, all his stuff. Just like they did Reggie with his, with his husband, you know, his likeness. They stripped uh-huh. all his They should have stripped Michael Phelps of all his bullshit. Right. They not even letting her get to compete. Just because she's faster than all y'all. Well, no, like, no. On, bro. So she will still be able to compete as long as she only does a one-month suspension. So I, I guess it's like... She's not going to make it. What you mean? Like her suspension is either going in right before or right after Olympic starts. Right. All right. That's so risky it's, as hell. Yeah, All right. So that's, so that's cool. so is it the Olympics fault that she did? She went. She broke the rules. No. Oh, okay. I like. I see. What you're so I mean, that's that's that was my whole thing. So yeah. it's just like even even if you talk about alcohol, like if she showed up drunk and. Um, they gave her a breathalyzer and it was like, you can't compete because you're drunk. Then it's like, all right, well, does she gets disqualified. That's two different so, things. That's two different but, things. So, but it's the same thing. They disqualified her from, uh, I think the 100 yard dash or 200 meter dash. I think it's a 200 meter. Yeah, so okay. she can't she can't do that, but she can do the relay if she makes the suspension time uh, time frame. But here's, the, here's where the two things are different, right? You said if someone shows up drunk, right? If she showed up drunk and alcohol banned or something different. She didn't show up high. They test those drugs. That's a routine thing as athletes across the board. You know? Right. So it ain't like she walked up and she was eating a whole bunch of fucking uh, taki- uh, Takis and, you know, and uh, quoting fucking um, uh, Malibu Gangster. I can't remember, I can't remember <laughs> nothing right now. I'm so fucked up. But you you quoting Cheap and Chong. She wasn't doing that. She was handling business. Or maybe she was just walking up to practice and they was like, oh, drug test, whatever, boom, boom, boom. She pissed out, whatever, like that. So Yeah, but you but you know that you but you know you can't smoke weed. But her mindset wasn't even in that like that that don't matter. It that does matter. matter. Why? Why does that matter? It does matter. So, you telling so you me so you telling me, hold on, hold on. You telling me you're a twenty something year old 
track star that's backed by Nike going on a nationally, you know, interview. And then the interview tells you that your bio mother that you just had started having a relationship with is dead. Uh-huh. No, I, yo, I have sympathy. I do. Well, I don't, I can't have, well, yeah, I've lost loved ones. My I man's do background. I do have empathy, em- but, I, but I can't be, I, I can't be right. empathetic because you broke the rules. So if you break the rules just because you went through this tragic, this tragedy, then we supposed to give you a pass. So they gave Michael so, Phelps a pass. Yeah, but that was after the fact. Like it he doesn't came up, matter. He still got a pass. A pass is a pass. So for her, she get a pass. She gets suspended. That's not a pass. That's Nothing a pass. happened to him. Nothing happened to him. He got no slap on the wrist. No slap on the wrist. Nothing. Of Nothing happened. None of that. Nothing happened. Don't, don't I'm quite sure there are a lot that. more other people that have done way worse and nothing happened to them. But because she was in the spotlight, she's a young black track, and then she came out as gay, oh, they yeah. said, oh, hell no. Strike three. Strike yeah, three they out. said, but hell no. Strike three, you out. But again, but again, the rules say you can't smoke. So just because no, happened, the rules no. say you can't have a banned substance. That's a banned substance. And so then, wait, and then, I don't even think right now that they're even saying that she actually smoked. Right now, it's just being no, said she, that no, it's secondhand smoke. Oh, no, she admitted, she, yeah, she she admitted, admitted, admitted that she smoked, yeah. or did she admit that she was wrong? No, she and that she smoked. She was like, no, show me the, Show smoke. me the tweet. Show me the tweet. Show me the interview. Well, I don't, I don't. Because I watched, I watched, and people. I see. Yeah, I, I, I literally did, I just watched the story, and they pulled up her tweet. Like her first yeah. tweet was like, I'm human. And then the second yeah. tweet was like, yes, I smoked weed because I just found out on on the, uh, on the interview. Did it say she died. smoked weed or or did it say- No, she said, I smoked. Like it was in quotations. I smoked. Hey, how you spell her name? I know that shit kind of. S-H-A-C-A-R-R-I, I want to say. Shakari. Yeah, Shakari Richardson. She should she should still be trending. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, she definitely. Yeah, she she should top. still be trending. Yeah, definitely at the top. Okay, I, I will say I I do agree it shouldn't be illegal, but it's seeing not. that it is seeing seeing that it's illegal or is a banned substance, I don't care that she did it in a state that that is legal. You're a part of an organization or associated with something that says it's banned. You know this. I and think it's dumb it. because even Nike is still backing her, bro. Like, don't, yeah, they don't even. Yeah. That's fine. Come on, bro. <laughs> this is but, dumb. Yeah, but Nike, why is it dumb? Oh, let me pull it up. Because why, when, and I'm going to use the race car, when people of color, black, up, brown, tan, do oh, something. There you go. And then oh, the people, yo. oh, he in here? What's up? So, anyways, we do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we do something. It's automatic punishment but someone that's lacking pigment does something they either get a slap on the wrist or they don't get nothing at all well i will say for him i think he lost endorsements oh he did I mean, he, he, he lost money belt, right? said, Ooh, yeah. he, he lost endorsements After the fact, no he, lo- he lost money hey but so but you he do lost know Olympi- endorsements. no but like olympians they don't make money you do know that, right? Like they don't they, get. I they, know that, but that's they a make big. Money off of that's their a big, big like a, a a big thing for their type of sports, like to go. Are to you talking about that day. Wheaties thing he lost? Yeah, he lost the Wheaties thing. Yeah, and don't nobody eat them. <laughs> you know what? Don't, don't, don't matter. Wheaties that's that's the closest thing to sound like Wheaties. Paycheck. Wheaties. Paycheck. Wheaties. Weed and Wheaties. Wheaties. He lost one paycheck. Stay off the Wheaties. No, he, no, he lost a couple. He lost a couple. And there's a difference between. There's listen. You're talking about they don't get paid. They don't. We're talking about this girl can't compete in the one thing that's on her, not competing I'm in something that's her and three other people. I only she has to share that because... moment. No, I'm saying that she has to share that moment. They're taking away something that's just her. Like Michael Phelps competed in all his events, most of them which were on him, and then still after the fact, still nothing happened. Uh, I can see if they took a is uh, I'm what is that? Just says I am human. 
And then, uh-huh. and then after that, it's a whole bunch of her old tweets. I don't, I don't know if they made her take it down or. It's a possibility. Yeah. I, I got. I got to wait. Even till it, even if they took it down, it would still be somewhere. Yeah, I gotta find. Yeah, it. some somebody check, check Instagram. Like, Matter of fact, story on it. If you check the shade room, they probably they have it. They got everything <laughs> and Hollywood on lock. They be having everything. You can't get nothing past them. It might be on. Yeah, once it's out there, it's out there forever. Yeah, it's out there. But yeah, that they kind of it kind of crazy how they did that to her like that though. I don't understand why y'all why y'all think that though. It, it's it, clearly stated like you can't use this substance. Um, no, it says no banned substance. That's a banned substance. I think it's dumb. D- okay, what if she was sitting in the car? Wait, 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 wait. What you what think if she was sitting in the and car? what the rules are are totally different. What you think is not is has no relevance in the story. Yeah. When 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 you're saying it's in black and white, hey, the speed limit is 55. You're doing 50. I don't I don't think so because what if she was just in the vicinity of a bunch of people that were smoking? She never hit it, but it was in her system. Yeah. So that's that's when she come out and say, hey, hey, I went home. We were grieving. I was around a bunch of my family members. They were smoking. They can do you, tests. Hey, no, no, hey, wait, you, wait, wait. Go they ahead. Go ahead. Yes, they can do tests and they can uh, determine from the test if you if you inhaled the drug like straight from the from whatever you the smoke came from or if mm-hmm. you inhaled it secondhand just by do the level think, of the PC. Do, do you think that that would have still mattered? Yeah, that would have mattered. That would have mattered. Like they, they still they still would have been like, well, you know, yeah, you're supposed think, to be around gonna, that drug. But it's not gonna be able to it doesn't matter when that suspension is, but we were talking about earlier. She, she ain't gonna make not, it. She's not gonna be able to run. They said she Yeah, they said she's not she's yeah. not gonna be able to run. Really? No, she can't compete at all in the she Olympics. She cannot. Yep, she cannot. She got to wait four more years to compete. So now I'm trying to no, get all that, and she did all that to, to. So whose fault is that then? Is that it not? Gotta her? Be her. I mean, I'm no, gonna be it's her, her fault. It's her fault. But the Cut. situation, yeah. but the situation is kind of fucked up because it's fucked up. She dealing with she dealing she dealt with grief. In a way that I wouldn't do. I mean, I would deal with grief, but if I, you know, train four years for, for something, and I wanted that bad, I wouldn't even try to even be close to, you know, what I mean, weed or this and that, depending on what the rules are, anyway. But the way she grieves is the way she grieves, and that's gonna yeah. help her. That's gonna help. I'd rather for a mental be better than, than you know, what I mean, you know, I guess physical. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I'm just saying I would rather for her mental health to be straight before she do anything else. And like, it kind of, I feel like it, it, it that impacted her mental health. Me, as, as a griever, honestly, I'm not going to give two fucks about the Olympics or whatever is going on if I just got told in a giant-ass interview by a random-ass motherfucker that I don't know that my yeah. parent died. What? Right. I'm trying to feel whatever I don't want to feel and turn it off. Like, I'm not thinking about that right now. I'm thinking about they're dead, how that happened, where the fuck was I, who dropped the ball on telling me before I got here, why would you tell me this and I don't know you even though you're yeah. doing your job, where right. is my agent, where is my family, like, I'm pretty sure she probably was feeling all of those things at once and her running the Olympics was like the farthest yeah. thing from her mind. Totally agree. Yeah. You know, but you know, it went through my head, which was kind of fucked up. I don't want to say it, but fuck it, it just went through it. my head. Just say, uh, it. say it. So I just feel like, well, she was smoking before anyways and she just never got caught. You think? Yeah, I mean, it's just for the simple fact that like, that was like your first go-to. I've never smoked smoke weed. Uh, well, the way you guys do, I tried it, didn't like it, so I was like, yeah, I'm straight. But like I learned early on in my early twenties when it came to liquor, when I was I would drink, I was drinking way more. When I'm upset, I don't need to drink. So like I I inherently just knew that and just listening to my. The people around me that were older, like you don't, you don't do those things when you're upset. Okay, and saying that because the negative effects that alcohol gives you, what negative effect? Well, no, 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 no. What I'm saying is like it is a mind-altering substance. 
So for some people, when they drink, if they're sad, it might make them feel happy. For me, if I'm sad, it's gonna make me sadder. So like I learned that early on. So I don't know how weed affects her, her mood and what strands and whatever, but it's just like, well, I don't know, man. Like both substances don't make me feel anything, which is what I like. I don't feel anything. So yeah, it's, it's yeah. So it alters we, your mood. We really just make you yeah. numb, yeah. sleepy, and hungry. Well, me hungry. I don't know what everybody else does, but it, it get me to a point where cause I I got to a point where um, when my father died, I wasn't eating. Like that shit was just. You know what I mean? That was not in my mind, so I had to smoke to even get, get, get that appetite. appetite. So, yes. yes. So pretty much, it just make you numb to the, you know, numb to the world, physically and mentally, <laughs> and just and you know, make you sleepy. If you want to get tired, you can go to sleep through it. And then, you know, pain wise, and because a lot of my um, my brother got in a um, car accident that hurt his pelvis and still hurt him to this day. Mm. Um, he smoked weed, that shit just, you know, second, you know what I mean, just second in his mind, like, oh, I ain't hurting, I'm finna chill, finna smoke, finna chill, drink, whatever, do whatever I do, but, um, yeah, but that's just her coping mechanism, man. It's, to me, I just feel like you worked so hard to do this with your mom, you know what I mean, one that you, to you know what I mean yeah, all right but, let me go yeah. smoke smoke this but I'm not saying you know what I mean that that's the thing but I'm looking at it like at the last race that she was at her mom was there no it was her grandma no, 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 no it was her no, grandma no, no, what, no what, what I was about yeah. to say was yeah like y'all got like y'all guys said it was like that was a part of this thing from her mind at that time yeah. so but I can't remember if if her testing I mean I mean when you think about it when you think about an athlete race, like before it she was talked. after the race. All right. after. Yeah, it, it was after the race. It was after. But see, with an athlete, like I'm gonna put it like this: It lost his sister. Um, talk about in, it in in the playoffs, and he could have playoffs. Been, he could have been. He could have been out of the game. Who you know what I mean? The they, they they were asking him, "Hey, is you gonna play?" And this and that. He went in to play. It just it's a different caliber of people. You know what I mean? That's what I'm trying to really get across. It's a different yeah. caliber of people. But if you know that you in this important thing and this important role, and you know your people, you know what I mean? They've been watching you, they've been supporting you doing this thing. I would have held off on the week. You have But who said who says he didn't though? How will we know that? Right. Certain organiz that. organizations in the NBA are very good at protecting their investment and Boston is going to protect their investment I'm an avid Boston fan okay yeah. they protect the hell out of all their investments they're not trying to lose no bread or nobody so he could have I'm not saying he did but he, he could have yeah but no but that's that's what I was saying and like as far as like with her I feel like she's been smoking and she is Bro, what? She, no no what, let, me, let me finish let me finish um, but like, but like, I, but I, I just believe like they knew she was going to be like the face of the Olympics for this upcoming competition. Yeah, so, yeah definitely. Yeah, like, hey, you can do this. Let us know, and then we can give you this, and it'll clear clean your system before you have to take a test. And Boom. what we're giving you not going to pop up in the test. Boom. I, then, I, believe, I believe I believe they do that I, for everybody. I, I agree. I agree. And then the fact is that. If you're not into those sports, watching the Olympics, you're not gonna watch it. Everybody knows what everybody's gonna watch. They're gonna watch basketball for the Olympics, men and women, or they're gonna watch like um, oh, what's soccer. the other one? Soccer, tennis. They're gonna watch. They're gonna yeah, watch. Hockey's winning. Hockey's winning. Hockey's winning. Yeah, hockey. Yeah. yeah, that that's it. They're not really gonna watch the track and field. One. Nah, I can't. So say that, she's no, not. Same boat. Same boat. Same boat. Same boat. Same boat. They're gonna Ooh. watch the one with him, and that's yeah, it. Yeah, that's it. And Jamaica fans, yeah, hey, Jamaica people fans. from Jamaica, yeah, just like the girl. Nobody, That's why I say I want her else. to play because she was racing against old girl from Jamaica. And that was yeah. good, and that was going to be a and great Buffalo competition. Had colorful hair. Sure <laughs> now we got to wait what they, another four years? Four years. We can't see the rainbow do the track no more. Hold up, pause. No, it's another little shorty that just broke the record. She was running too. Um, what was it? I I don't know if it was for, like hurdles or something. For USA? Yeah, she she's getting her like 
master's or PhD somewhere or whatever. Like she's in school actively and I, I think they're training. from the same school. I don't no, I don't think so. Because I watched that race and it was um, but you did, like three of them. It was, it was a light three skin of them from the same school, but one of she them I think she had graduated. Oh and I no, think that's this what talking about. It might like, be, but this, this yeah, this one was a light skin shorty. Yeah, she used to train at that stadium, and now mm -hmm. she's going to school somewhere else. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, and, I, and like I think she just made qualify. Was wait a minute? Yeah, I think she she had like got disqualified at the beginning, and then they were like, "No, it's not you. It's somebody else." And then she was yeah, able to, uh, to and run. she was able to run, and yeah. she ended up breaking the record. Yeah. No, I'm just, I, I agree with y'all that it shouldn't be banned. It should be legal. I think all drugs should be legal. Yeah, it's 2020. It's a just, little bit of weed ain't going to oh. hurt nobody. Yeah, not all drugs. A little bit of weed right. ain't going to hurt nobody. Well, if if we was in Oregon, oh, meth to be boy, no boy is living there. Yeah, why not? Alcohol is legal. I mean, people die from alcohol. Hey, I'm drinking right now. Well, Cigarettes Oregon got, I mean, got people all the drugs. Cigarettes. Man. Oregon got all the drugs. I'm just saying, got hey, all the drugs. They, I'm just saying, like, regulate it. Cocaine, you, you, you coke. Still, <laughs> I mean, cat, they're going to have lawlessness. Crack cocaine. Have, uh, a black market crack. for it, but it's not going to be... Heroin. It's not going to be as many people in prison for a drug that's legal. In Oregon. And, and you can regulate it, and you can make money off of it. The, 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 the federal tax, government can make money off of it. Tax the fuck out of it. Huh? You mean tax the fuck out of it, because that's what yeah. they're going to do. Like, they yeah. more cigarettes. Bitches up. So, but I'm okay with that as long as those taxes are going towards like rehabilitation and things like that to kind of help. But it, but it's not, and you know that. But no, I mean, but it does. It does now. It's just it's not a great big portion of it. What does now? Like we put tax dollars towards uh, facilities to help. Uh, Where? What state? Everywhere. Every state has it. I'm just saying we it don't we don't do a good job at it. Because you have people just just like, well, I don't want my tax dollars paying for a bunch of junkies. I'm just like, all right, fine. We'll kick them out on the street, and now you got to deal with them <laughs> creeping up on your ass when you go into the car. I don't I'm get there. why we don't mm -hmm. keep that same energy when it comes to like potholes and like. This, like, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm that way with everything. Terrible yeah. education systems, underpaid yeah. teachers. America! Two children in the system, <laughs> homeless veterans, homeless kids. Yeah, like, like, you, like, yeah. You draw the line if Let someone see y'all song America. If fuck it. Is legal, you draw the line if someone who can't really afford to live in a proper housing that has their rent paid for them because you know maybe because of the fucked up system that you probably voted for that your your grandfather probably introduced to the government and that's the reason why her baby daddy is locked up you know because he can't get a real job so now she's stuck on her own so now she can she got four kids and she's trying to make make something of her own so. It's bothering you the fact that the government is paying for that? It's bothering you that the fact that the government say, here, you need help to feed them babies. It bothers you when you got- But you, but you know something you, you can't drive 10 seconds in Atlanta without seeing a goddamn pothole. You look and you see in Buckhead, we're supposed to, that's, that's the rich white part of Atlanta, whatever, right? It's fucking tree stumps in the middle of the fucking roads and- it's just like they just don't holes the biggest pots. The roads are like you got you, you can barely see the lines or whatever. They just gave a fuck about completely certain parts. They put still like, little things over the thing like, like that shit gonna why ain't like there's teachers being underpaid and they're they had to risk themselves like dealing with this whole pandemic thing, trying to, you know, educate our your children and you're not applying that same energy to that and being like, Hey, pay the motherfucking teachers. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. You know, protect the motherfucking teachers. Put some damn security in the uh, school systems. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just fucking going over to a stream and like, hey, take out the guns. No, let's start with putting security in these motherfucking schools. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, for real. Let's have people. That way, that can help not only against school shootings, but fucking pedophiles. But, but you, you know, know what's funny? Shit. You know what's funny? When they do put security guards in there, they protect them like cops and they make it a law to where their life is more important than the people they're supposed to be protecting. You're talking like, about like, security in schools? I'm saying that for cops. Like, cops don't have to show up when you call them. And even if they do show up, they don't have to protect you. But that's they're, all. They're not, oh, they're you not don't got security in your schools? No they're, no, they're not bound. They're not bound by law to protect you. Oh, we it's, 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 cra it's crazy. It's, wild. it's crazy. They don't. They're they're they hip and everything. I don't know. I just 
I'm not I'm not one of those people. If I'm one of the people that's gonna be like, hey, my tax money goes for this, my same shit and energies apply all across the board. Across the board. Yeah. It's not just at this one area. Like I don't like to me, I know y'all don't look at it this way, but for all y'all motherfuckers who say that shit, y'all are really pocket watching. I know that y'all probably make more money than the, pre- the people that you're shitting on and talking down on. You know, see what you shouldn't because the same people that you shit on on the, on the way up is to be the same people you see going on the way down. So that's hey, what you mean. So like, if you shitting on someone about their situation, be oh my taxpaying dollars going towards them so they can get five hundred dollars in food stamps, oh, and Section yeah. Eight housing, uh, and live all this. Da, 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 da. They can just mm-hmm. have kids and do whatever they want without like, without seeing the the problem itself. Right. right. Then, well, the, the way I look at it, is, the lifestyle you have now can it can change tomorrow. Mm-hmm. To where you might be a neighbor. It's not even that. That's what I was about to say. Is like, well. Like places like in California or any places has like gated communities. These very wealthy people make all this money. They don't want their taxpayer dollars to go, the tax dollars to go towards helping them. They want to keep it for themselves. And they're like, well, I don't care about the city, even though that's where I make my money. I can move out to the sticks in a gated community. Well, yeah, over time, wherever you're trying to get away from is going to follow you. Mm-hmm. And now it's outside the gates to your gated community. And then, like, if, if you would have put all that money that you kept to yourself to move away, if you just would have gave that little extra five or ten percent, then the city would be that much better. Okay. I'm not saying it's not. I'm not saying it's going to be crime free. Would it really? All right. Yeah. No, I mean, uh, think, think about I'm it. Like, if, he was like, "What the hell is what I was just saying?" I'm talking about the same people that you shit on going on the way up would be the same people that you really shit on. Yeah, on the way down. Like, yeah, but but their thinking is like, I can just move away. I wanted to say that all all bad. those all those poor people don't have the money to do what I'm what I'm able to do. So I don't care about the problems going on in the city. I don't care that you know. You're saying rich people are like these like Doctor Evil like James Bond. No, not all. I'm not saying all. I'm just saying the the ones that that really are against trying to help people. I'm not saying the ones that do charitable things like you know like LeBron is a great example for that. Um, it's yeah, just, he got a school. Yeah, got a like school he, he does the things that I feel like you're supposed to do. Like Jeff Bezos' ex-wife, she's very charitable. Yeah, she's the richest woman in the world. Yeah, but it's the same thing with like like with a Bill Gates. Like when he dies, half of his fortune is going to charities. Right, but now he's the antichrist. If he dies, <laughs> no, he, he calls COVID and all this shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like, <laughs> Allegedly, this is all the dumbass yeah. conspiracy theories that people be saying. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like oh, the whole shit. Dr. Dr. Fauci thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I seen yeah. the, the, the well, the emails and nothing Yo, I wanted to actually read. I wanted to ask y'all about that. Um, so the latest news about Marjorie Green, whatever her fucking name is, the um representative yeah. from Georgia. Georgia. Yeah, oh, the okay. crazy batshit, crazy Q nine type shit. Yeah. So um so pretty much she's saying Dr. Fauci should um should lose his job. Oh yeah. Um be fine for um not telling President Trump um the truth about COVID, where you know he said millions could die. Well, a hundred thousand and more died and all this other stuff. Um, you know what I mean? It, he lied about the numbers pretty much. And it's I'm like theory. I mean th- uh theater. That's all that is. To me, it's just pulling. Yeah, it's just pulling straws. Like at this point, it's yeah. Kind of like all right, you can't really. Cause like I said, I read them. I was like, well, this is what is on the news cycle twenty four seven. Like, yeah. But well, who was- voted this? Who voted this shit in here? In there, like, I know QAnon was a bit thing. And you know, what I mean, you know, I mean, not even was. They probably still is. I don't know where the hell they at. You know, they can pop up at any moment. Like, at, you know, at this point, oh, you'd man, be surprised who believe in that shit. At this point, man, I don't even think it's QAnon. I really do think these people just do that. Like I was telling Flights a couple weeks ago, I was saying, I think they do this because of their constituents. They, they know their constituents are bad shit crazy. So if they know, because trust me, they know a lot more than we know. They have all these analytics and all these type of polls and all these areas because people that vote for them, they can get so much information from them just by asking them questions, by polling them. So they yeah. know these motherfuckers are crazy. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? No offense, I'm crazy too, but that's what y'all are. So. <laughs> they, they they really do believe that these emails are so much damaging and they just want to take that. They, they are butt hurt because they lost the election, right? So right. now these people represent me. So you know what? I'm going to be this dumbass person in front of the camera. I'm going to be this dumbass person on Capitol Hill so I can stay on Capitol Hill. 
No, I no, I think she believed it because they pulled up like old old tweets before she was even thinking about running, and like she was into all those conspiracy shit. Yep. Have you ever watched Scandal Fights? Uh, mm-hmm. Scandal. Mm-hmm. Scandal. With um, Carrie Washington. Carrie Washington. Uh, I never, I never got into it. All right, so you do you ever you notice like it. whenever well, if you watch any other type of like, all right, let's say um, what's another political show that's really really good? Um, it's House of Cards one. House of Cards. Yeah. Okay. Do you ever Cards. notice? All right, you ever notice, right? Whenever they have that person that's going to be next up, like that's going to either whatever it is, like senator, president, um, superintendent, whatever district, whatever it is, you do realize they have a person there that come kind of grooms them and say, "Hey, do this. Take this picture. Do this. Whatever. You gotta do this." And they're like, "Why I gotta do this? Whatever like that." Because this is what voters like. This is what voters want. So. Yeah. Obviously, they're gonna have some pictures of her surfacing her probably wearing a MAGA hat before MAGA was even the thing, or having like a mm-hmm. Donald Trump t shirt or something like that. Of course, it's gonna be there. That's all planted. I'm trying to tell you, bro. This shit is a fucking Hollywood. That's all it is. I think she really shit. believes the shit that she says. Yeah, along until her constituents think otherwise. Her and Matt Gets. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll give you that. that okay, I'll give you that part. Yeah. Fuck <laughs> fucking Matt, fuck, Matt Mark, whatever fucking get. Yeah, Matt Gates. He's he's just a career politician. That's all. He, him and Ben Shapiro, I want to punch in the face. Like, nah, uh, don't man, don't don't no violence, man. Listen, I, I, that's from the dude from Detroit. Like the Queen Michelle Obama said, <laughs> they go low, we get high. All right. <laughs> don't fight that dude. You know what yeah. I'm saying? No, I, I mean, I mean, they just got punchable faces, bro. Oh yeah, just, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, that, like they, they, their face is like, yo, he shit, he almost shit himself on live TV. And he thought <laughs> he was gonna get uh, General Milley to say yeah. something about critical race theory. Mm-hmm. And that the look on his face when he was like, uh, our so-called woke uh, officers and NCOs and everything, and that motherfucker, they turned the camera to Matt Gates and. He looked like he, he, you could tell he was mad as fuck that a general in the United States military uh, believed in critical race theory. I mean, why not? But I don't want to go down that route. But yeah. I mean, but why not? It's, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's certain things that's reality, right? Yeah. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, that shit is Hollywood. Like, you, can, you can't tell me, like, there are crazy people in the world, right? But these crazy people do, like, the most off the wall shit, like, go, like, kill, like, 10 people or, rape kids or you know what I'm saying I'm talking about way way left shit right the people that these things these people say there's no way that you got the position you're at and you thinking like that there's no fucking way so you tell you think about it she's a career politician you telling me that she honestly in her mind well no no she's not a career politician this is like her first time ever being in political office really She's a career politician, bro. I'm trying to tell you. Not no. to say, like, as far as her link wise, she's a career politician. She's been groomed from that point since the moment she went to law school and said, hey, this is what I want to be. This is what I got to do. Where did I get to where I need to be? That's what she, that was her career. That's her path. She was on that path. So, yeah, I you, just, can't, I don't... you can't even get to that point where thousands of people voted for you to get in that position and you can't think like that. Like, you know, it's got, it's not, it's not logical. It doesn't make no sense. What you it doesn't mean? make any sense. So you know how they'd be like, all right, like, all right. So like the like since Kay's here, since she represents the woman gender, you know what I'm saying? That age old question, you know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, women want equality. Women want equality. I agree, they should have equality, but there are certain things that they cannot do, and it's not misogynistic and it's not sexist if we say that. And us as men keep bouncing around, dancing around the fucking shit instead of just saying it. Because no, we should tell them that's the truth because there are certain limitations. Just like we have certain limitations that they excel in. But we don't want to say that. That's just, that's what I'm saying. It's the reality of things. The reality of it is that America is still racist as fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was built on it. Literally. That's how, you know, everything was built off the backs of fucking slavery. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's the richest country in the world. So, Let's just keep this why it's remnants of that and that shit didn't yeah. stop to when like when like shit how many years ago is it haven't been has it been a hundred years ago since slavery has no 400 years bro it's been 400 years 400 years 400 years 400 years that's what you consider slavery. Slavery. that's that's I can, like I can, at I minimum can, that's at a minimum four generations that's a minimum four generations that's your great 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 grandparents 
Yo, that's man, not that. Yeah. That's not too much. Yeah, but no, 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 but we still, as a country, we still, as a country, are mentally enslaved. So this is no, about our way of thinking. Yeah, yeah. To this the the day. Day. I agree. <laughs> I agree. But the thing is, but that's because we avoid these conversations and just be like, all right, this is reality. There's gonna be yeah. some people who don't like me because well, how I look. I get it. You know what I'm saying? That's just we're not avoiding the question. It's not we. It's certain other folks that that avoiding that question. I'm, no, I'm the, the country is avoiding the question. The country is the country. Yeah. Outside of outside country. of we, the same. Just like the same thing about the little Nas X thing. The same way people dance around that. Why is it such a problem that he's up there, you know, giving the devil a lap dance? Why is it a problem? Unless you're a Satanist, and I can see maybe that's a respect of religion. That man Other just, than that, what's the problem, fam? That man just hiding Randy on it's TV. Still, it's, still, it's, still a, it's still a real religion. <laughs> why, why, little, why was it a that problem is that a he kissed season. a man on the BET Awards? Madonna that, kissed somebody? What you mean? Man, like, they had... You know yeah, what makes me so mad? It's considered to be more... It's what? It's what? It's more acceptable. Why? Because she's a woman and he's a man? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they they kiss. That's, that, that's dumb. I know. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait a minute. I'm not going. Gay is that. gay. People had an uproar when both of them when when Madonna kissed too. It was just more the the people that love Madonna was like don't. And Madonna been in the game for a long time, so she got a large range of people more than little Nas X does. Yeah. So, so she when have she a, do and, it, and, and, but it. and she's a woman though. But then, but when she do it. Her fan base already like, oh no, she got a beehive of her own anyway. So no, you don't do Madonna like that. No, she can kiss, she can kiss whatever she wants to. And then you got little Nas X that you know what I mean he already had scrutiny from from when he fucking came out already, and niggas already like that gay nigga need to go. And <laughs> no, let's just keep. He kiss, he kiss someone on TV. They going you gonna have a fucking goddamn. Riot outside, like fuck that nigga. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I mean, like, come on, but, man. but keep keep it a G though. Like it's it's a man's world. So men like when women, and that's why the world's so fucked up now. <laughs> Thank first you. Of all, first of all, first <laughs> of no, all, but no, but no. Can I speak? Let me know when it's yeah. my turn. Go ahead. I'm gonna let you go, 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 go ahead. Go ahead. Let me know. Are y'all sure? Go ahead. First of all, because I'm gonna get into what Tokyo said about Madonna having her own beehive. She might have got scrutiny, but she's not getting it like he's getting it because, like I like said, he's a man, which I think is dumb because it's not a problem when it's your little cousin Ray Ray, he kissing his boyfriend, John John. But because it's somebody that's famous, I really think the problem is niggas is mad because he had that old time rogue on and niggas was singing it and then they found out it was about another man. That's the real problem. And, and then, like and got mad, and got mad. Then they're also mad because versus Nigga come out and say you gay, nigga come out and say you gay. He come out and say you gay. Now it's a problem. Oh, cut out that gay shit, cut out that gay shit. First you didn't want him in the closet. Now he out the closet. Now you want to put him back in the closet. Like, then you're like, oh, he doing too much. He doing too much. All these other gay people, AKA Jason Lee from Hollywood Unlocked that gets more respect than Little Nas X. Come on, bro. What is it? Because he's a light skinned guy that's gay? Or is it because he's a dark skinned dude that's gay? Dark skin niggas is not supposed to be gay. Black people are not supposed to be gay. Black men are not supposed to be gay. Cut it out, okay? There's gonna be a lot of black people that are gay, okay? M Madonna might be more popular, but he's getting more flagged because he's a man and then he did it at the BET Awards. That's the big problem. He did it at the BET Awards. The black entertaining television is where he did it. And there was nothing that they could fucking do or erase or backtrack because it was live and now they're pissed the fuck off. Get Nobody the fuck over it. Anyway. Get the yeah. people actually were watching that shit. So get the fuck over it. He kissed somebody. Oh, whatever. Who else kissed somebody? They found the they BET found Award? they found the clip what on two, YouTube. Hold on, Tokyo. What two <laughs> women what two women kissed at the BT Awards before that were black? No female rapper. You sure? I don't know. I mean, I haven't. I have been watching BET in a bit. That's why I said nobody really watched that thing. <laughs> well, hold on, I'm gonna have my cousin. Yeah, maybe Nikki. Kamara, look up women who kiss at the BET Awards. She's gonna look it up. All right, but Kay, all I was saying. Keep going. Was, Go ahead. All I was saying was. Can um, yeah, you kiss her. Uh, huh? Huh? Uh, her huh? Girl? Oh, well, Thank there you. we go. She won, she won an award. Did she kiss her girl? 
like, but when she but see, that winning the war and that's shit to somebody. It doesn't matter. It doesn't it's matter. matter. It's somebody. It's the same thing. So Wait, y'all making it? Y'all, hold up, hold up, pause, pause. I, you just explained what I was explaining earlier, but it just to the fact that you making it seem like I'm saying that it's wrong. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just telling you the facts that the reason why people is fucking uproaring and riding it because like you said, he's black, he's gay, and he did it on, on black television, which black people don't even watch no more. Again, like I said, <laughs> black yeah, people no, don't I'm watch saying, I'm not saying, no like, more. personally, you feel that way, Toki. I'm saying people in general in the yeah. world feel that way. They need to get the fuck over it. Yeah. Get over it. And, yeah. I, and 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 this is not even pointed to y'all. This is to the LGB community too. Y'all need to get the fuck over it too, because they got a problem with him doing it too. Stop doing that dumb shit. That pisses For me real? off. Well, yes, well, I, I, there's I, people in the gay community that have a problem with him. Can, oh, he's too gay. Everybody don't need to know you gay. You doing too much. Now you just doing it. No, it, no, 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 bro, no. The gay community has a problem with it too. But no, what about what about too. what about the pole dance down the hill and and lap dance? It's they had a problem with that. It's entertainment. He's an entertainer. He's supposed to entertain. That's yeah, it. but that one said, did they have a problem with that too? Yes. Y'all have to so you, so you, the reason, the you the reason why they always saying gay people going to hell. Now you doing the devil dance and you coming down the po- yes. The yeah, gay community so has a what? problem with it so, too. Okay, this is my question. What's gonna make <laughs> what's gonna make the LG be make us happy? The, 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 yeah, there we go. <laughs> you know what's gonna make what's gonna make, you, what's you gonna know make what's the list of alphabets? The, yeah, the list of alphabets. <laughs> the list of yeah. alphabets happy because look, I look, I'm I'm progressive ass next nigga. But at the same time, I'm sitting here like, okay, if y'all not happy about this. Why y'all not? I'm not saying it because everybody, we humans. One thing is not going to make us happy and we be satisfied with everything. But it's just like, it seemed like, okay, somebody go out there in the in that community, do something, you know what I mean? Push the envelope. And then it's a problem. Like, it's like, it's like somebody can't do that unless it's kind of like the little richer effect. Or Soldier Boy effect now, since you know he wanted to be first of everything. It's like if you're not doing it first, you know what I mean. It, it, it's irrelevant. Right. I hate that, man. I hate that shit. Huh? So I'm saying like it's. I'm saying like like somebody pushing the envelope and that. Hold up. You, you got it. You got it. No, no, no. Go ahead. Keep going. All right, but it's saying like if if you bad audio listeners, I ain't mean to cough into the mic. I'm so rude, <laughs> but I'm high as a bitch right now, so I apologize. But it's no excuse. I apologize. <laughs> rude. Hey, they gonna be like, what the fuck? But, like, <laughs> I was like, damn. Yeah, somebody gonna, gonna be sitting there driving, getting into a car accident. Like, hey, oh. see the cough, but the cough that you doing was not it's candy man and shit. But it's not as bad as people with a real smokers cough that that from the throat oh, to the belly. Yeah, yeah. That, this, that, this was- <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? They, they, they like, yeah, this shit rock. I was like, that's the kind of cough it was. Like, oh, okay. But what I was saying is the 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 first mentality is like somebody pushed the the envelope in that like doing something like what little Nas is doing. Mm-hmm. So he pushed the envelope doing that. You got people like I don't like that. That shouldn't be this this and this and that. Secretly inside, they could be in like, man, if I, I mean, I wish I was the first one to do that and. You know, get known for doing this, and you know what I mean, get known for doing that because what he did was groundbreaking. Yeah, I kissed a dude in my performance on the BET Awards where that shit didn't happen, but probably once or twice. But you know, listen, listen, the gay, the gay community, this is, and I'm gonna get into it because I have no fucking problem going against my own community. I don't give a shit. You're not gonna do nothing to me, and you're but not you see, that will make you. That will make you dope because. <laughs> <laughs> you can call out. You can call out the bullshit. Okay. You can call out the bullshit. Listen, there, there, this is. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get into both sides. Okay, I'm gonna start with the the straight side because it's easy. Cut straight to the point, right? Straight community's problem is if it's something un, unusual or not seen or unheard of, it makes y'all uncomfortable. And instead of asking questions. Y'all just deem it something that's wrong or bad or inappropriate and stuff when, you know, showing PDA with your significant other is the same 
only difference is is I'm dating someone with the same parts as me or I'm dating someone with you know that used to have the same parts as me and other parts are different or I'm dating someone who's a masculine female but she's still female she knows she's female or a feminine male but he still knows he's male you know what I'm saying and you guys try to like either shun or hide it from the world when you're gonna see it because then when your kid comes out of nowhere with it or they come and ask you questions now you're like and you don't know what the fuck to say and then now your kid's gonna go off in the world and is gonna experience some shit that they not like prepared for there's a certain to me i believe there's a certain age where yes a conversation about my colorful flag needs to be had i'm not trying to send my kid out there and they out here confused as hell some shit happened all right that's that's the straight side quick easy boom gay side our biggest problem is we want to be accepted and then when we are and the straight community asks the question you doing too much or you disrespect have that conversation so they can understand our community better so you can get the support that you want so you can get everything that a, a, a heterosexual couple has. What do you mean? You're making our path harder than where it fucking needs to be. And that's, right? and that's like, the same reason why I say the same thing about the black community. It's the same reason why the black community- Let me finish, let me finish. Yeah, and let me finish. And then, then there's also the factor of, there's a lot of hate on hate in the gay community because we're not used to the support that we don't get from the straight community or just our own family in in general. We're used to being defensive against the wall mm -hmm. and someone automatically not accepting it. So then when we see something new in the gay community, bitch, you're a, a gay guy wearing nail polish and you got on a lace front, but you got a deep ass voice. Like what's really going on, bro? That's no, hell no, you doing something. Like that's that man's life or that's that woman's life let it go like you just because somebody you know didn't accept you doesn't mean you don't have to accept them and if you don't accept it you don't always gotta voice your opinion on it shut the fuck up mind yeah. your damn business just like you tell the straight community mind their business mind your business too Thanks. like just let it go don't say that it's not affecting you at the fuck all like it, it's really not and then the trans community gotta do better Stop tricking these motherfuckers out here, bro. And then you saying you want somebody to be for you. They can't be that, for you if they don't know who you are. That's a wild ass they shit. They need to know who you are. They need to know who you used to fucking exactly. be. Give them a chance and an opportunity to be like, okay, I'm okay with this. Or no, I'm not okay with this. Or no, I'm not okay with this right now. But you have to give me time and, and go along with me. Because most okay? niggas be like... <laughs> yeah, so you'd be surprised. <laughs> You would Most be surprised. Like, Some people just don't care because to them, you look like a woman or you look like a man. You don't have those parts, okay? And if you do have those parts, you need to tell people. First, keep people safe. Most dudes would be like, "You got a whole like still sick of them, okay?" And walk off. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, bro. I'm trying to tell you. That's that's These why niggas out here ruthless, bro. bro. That's why. That's why. That. That's why I'm I tell people. I'll be like, bro, why don't you just? Just be pansexual. That's what I am. I like everything that likes me. If it's a vibe and we match and we mesh and we here, I don't give a fuck what the fuck you look like. If it's okay? a fucking helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you how do you feel about uh, pedophiles trying to be a part of the LGBTQ? Ooh, that's I wild. think that that is. Oh, like if you didn't know, like that's a real thing. Like they yeah, have yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. They have their own flag. Yeah. Crazy. I feel like. <laughs> And this is no disrespect to you guys, but I feel like that is the country's like fuck you to the gay community, like trying to stick it to us a little bit because of how they deem us. Because a lot of people feel like the gay community are predators, like we prey on people. And there are those people who do prey on people. But these people are, some are sick. And then there are those who really just don't give a fuck and they just do it. So do I believe that there are some that are sick? Yeah. Do I believe there are some that just don't give a fuck? Yes. Yeah. Um, do I feel like that they don't deserve like a write off? Okay, they have a flag. It shouldn't be celebrated. You did something that is wrong. Damaging. It's wrong. It's like it's it, and you damn not not only are you damaging the person, but you're damaging the person's family. 
you're damaging the person's future if they have a mini future with it's someone. It's a child. It's a child. Oh, wow. <laughs> like, like, but to answer your question, Tokyo, why do I feel like they are sick? Um, because in a way, like if that's something that you're brought up in or you're taught in a way, that becomes their norm. So then when they go out and do it, that's why I feel like they're sick or or yeah. something like, Mentally, you know, it's a, yeah. a tr yeah. So I just feel like they're sick. So I will ask him, I was gonna ask on why you feel like the country um making it like no, like this is like hey because we are the country's imperfection. We're fucking up their imperfection, the the godly way, you know, of the man and woman, same uh, same race, all of that. Yeah. Um, the manly man and the womanly woman. We're fucking it up because there's so many different variations of us, and it's progressing rapidly. They can't slow it down, and so if. Oh, America has all this in their gay community. Oh, I'm gonna go over there. And they have pride. The country celebrates pride. That really fucked America up when they started celebrating pride. And then now you have all these politicians that are gay, that are trans, that are coming out that I'm married to a man or I'm married to a woman, that are supporting the gay community. That's really fucking it up for America. So now they're like, okay, we gotta do something to slow it down. And then when they legalize, um, being gay in the military, oh, they was like, oh, hell no, it's too much going on. Then when they legalize uh, gay marriage, what the fuck is going on? Like, it, it's mom. rapid. And then now it's the changing of the bathrooms for the trans kids in the school system. And now they're trying to do this whole fighting of the competition, whether trans and gay people and queer people should be allowed to compete in professional sports as what they identify and if that passes like it's already bad for the gay community but i feel like it's gonna get a lot fucking worse it's, bro. it's not gonna happen it's not gonna happen i think that it is not i, I don't need man it. should not be out there <laughs> in the WNBA scoring 95 a night and that's not gonna happen I, and two about hey, the school thing it might, bring, it, might be, it might bring more butts to the seat because you finally might. get see dunks that's but not you fair, know, man. You know what I think? <laughs> you know what I think? I honestly feel like if you're going to do that, have our own league. Question. Yeah. I, did yeah, you, I love did to you see feel? That. I love to see that. Did you yeah, feel? But, have oh, but, but you know what the problem with that is? Then it's going to become a, a competition. Because it's just like, well, like, well, like you're going to have athletes in that new league that's going to feel like, well, I'm good enough to play in the NBA. But I'm, but I have to play in this league because of who I am. Yeah. Just like, like with the WNBA, like I'm pretty sure that there's women in the WNBA play that that could actually play in the NBA and be successful. They could. Maybe they not could. be superstars like LeBron or some shit, but they but they could be like an assist an essential uh, player. Definitely player. They're, they're good. There are. Definitely there are. Role there role are definitely a lot of. Some of them might even be like I'm in the starting star. Five, they might depending be like star. on their position yeah, yeah definitely but like it took years for them to have women trainers women assistant coaches it's about to be a, I feel a like coach um, in a minute yeah Becky Ham was there Becky Hammond yeah might be yeah. for the Spurs which I hope she does because that would be great for women hey and pop need a rest sell. for real though yeah so pop I'm, do I'm need a rest yeah. but I do feel like eventually like some organizations would go would advocate for that because it would look good for their their organization it would bring in the revenue for their and then also it's just like some organizations just don't care it don't so, bother them like that how, how so okay how you feel about um i want to ask you this because you know i know you uh oh that's mcgrady you went um, out you went out and what he said. you went out yeah 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 go back all right all right so all right, y'all hear me right? Ain't nothing. Yeah, we hear you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, yeah. so um, how you feel about Trace McGrady saying that? Hey, how about we, you know, lower the the goal down so hey, we can start seeing more like highlight plays, like like um, you know, posterized dunks and you know, uh, you know, just you know everything we see in the NBA now, but you know, at least the goal is lower because you know, 
people go to an NBA game and see post ride Duncan and shit go wild. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? People go to the NBA and see, you know what I mean? You, you got the whole crossover because I seen some mean crossovers in the WNBA. Um, you know what I mean? You got all that, but you know, like the post ride dunks, the, the blocks that the NBA have, the, mm-hmm. the you know what I mean? The, the stuff that the NBA have, which, you know, those guys are like sit, sit something seven feet, can mm-hmm. jump up to a, uh, a 10 feet gold and windmill, right. do the legs and fucking backflip into the uh, goals. How you feel about um, Tracy McGrady, you know, saying, hey, let's lower it down, you know, get the highlight going, you know, get some more people in, in the seats and then, you know, let everything else happen, you know, naturally. Ladies, do not kill me. Um, I kind of agree a little bit to a certain extent. Like a couple years ago, before women's basketball took the turning point, it did. It did with men actually giving women a legit chance to train alongside the men, and even harder. I would say yeah, because I feel like you know we already got the handles, we already can shoot, they already play fundamental and freestyle type basketball. Like that excitement is there for that. But, you know, a couple of more dunks mm-hmm. would, you know, I guess bring that revenue to them. But I will only say do that. But if you're going to do that, pay them what they're worth. Yes. It's a give and yep. take. If you're yep. going to do that and I'm showing but out, see the, give, me, give me my money. Stop playing with me. Give me my but money. See, that's why I feel like, that's why I feel like with a desk where he was going because he was like, hey, once y'all doing that, the, the people going to come and see this. The yeah, people going to see that like, oh, wait, come wait now. Just it's not as yeah. big of a crowd, and they don't have as long of a season. Like WNBA yeah. started like two months ago, and they're already at All Star break. And then they go see yeah. a lot of people don't know WNBA players. They play year round. They only have like two months off. They have the spring to summer professional season. Then they go into the fall winter over fucking seas. Then they're playing in um like pre Olympic trials and all of that. Yeah, all that and then they take a yeah. break and then they go right back into a season. A lot of people don't know that. And it's crazy because they make three times, four times as much overseas. Like they're matching the, you know, the LeBrons and all of that over there. Now, do I feel like now should we lower it? No, because the generations that are coming up now. Don't even need you to load. Yeah, they're dunking. Yeah. They're dunking on people. They don't want lobs. Like, if you don't follow women's basketball, you wouldn't know that. Like, and there's, first of all, they've been dunking like crazy this season. Okay, I don't, I don't know yeah. what the hell got under their skin. But Brittany Griner not going for nine. The tall chick that plays for um, I want to say Connecticut and Atlanta. They're not going for nine. They're they're dunking. It's some girls in yeah. college that dunking, and it's a little high school girl. She's throwing self lobs, bro. She's not playing yeah. right now. Like they're not playing no games. Okay. So I do I feel like they should lower it? No, because women's basketball's generation gets more exciting every year and every year. Where it is no offense, the men's league stays kind of the same. You might have that one, two, or three exciting players, you know, each generation. Like, okay, you had Mike and Dennis and them. Then you had Kobe's era, had those few. Then you had LeBron's era, had those few. But right now, out of LeBron's class, I think him and what, CP, really the only like old heads yeah. that are kind of left. Camelo, yep. Camelo, uh, is Camelo on retiring nope. this year? Nah, 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 he's still playing. Nah, but he's he not. He might though, because he getting a divorce though. Shut yeah, up. Yeah, he getting a divorce. Hey, it's for you, bro. It's for you, bro. <laughs> he's not the same exciting players though. You know what I'm saying? Like he didn't invest in his body like Braun did, yeah, CP3 did. He, he did, did but it's not like, oh yeah, it looks like not. Nah. See, and then you have the the Jason Tatum, the Donnie Mitchell, and, and, and the Rose. Lamello. I forgot about Rose. Ja. Yeah, Ja, ja. Morant. Ja Rule. Yeah. Like you can oh, name no. at least 15 players, right? Then after that 15, name somebody else, right? Whereas hey, versus you know what I said, the it was small, right? <laughs> It was versus the WNBA. You can name a lot. Everybody on the team is a bucket. Everybody yeah. on the team can do something. Yeah. 
and then the generation up, but like that's everybody. That's the market of the like, owners. I feel like the owners yeah. will get like just take more money and just be like, all right, let's spend like the next, let's dedicate three years putting in uh 400 more money into the marketing of these games so that way people mm-hmm. know because like if you put in it it's like so, a song right if you throw a song yeah. on the radio and you keep hearing it you might not like it at first but then you hear it or you might hear a dj playing and makes him like oh i might like this song it's the same thing if you mm-hmm. let's say if you have like the big WNBA games why they have the big nba games like during yeah. christmas thanksgiving put that shit out there like hey we want to buy this slot for tbs christmas day so lebron play Kawhi. And then, or like, in on um, you know, in prime time, the game before that, let's have the sparks, you know, versus um, fuck, uh, Phoenix. Like, that is, that's gonna be your two biggest ones, that need, right? That need to go have down play to right college before. too, and then have uh, Shaq yeah, and all because the the women college games be crazy too. First of all, in all women's college and professional, each game is like a fucking playoff game yeah. the way that they, they play. Yeah, it, it's, right. You would have thought that they was in the chip, but I'm saying, I'm saying playing. more. I'm saying more on college as in because you know how a lot of players that came out, I mean, came out of college and went to the NBA, a lot of people know their names and a lot of people know, you know what I mean, the women's names on the thing, but they they don't. Last time I last time I talked to someone that I would watch, I'm a real big college hoops fan and, you know, mm-hmm. sports fan. So I watch, I watch the girls naturally. And those games be more excited than the Final Four. Honestly. <laughs> Honestly. Like, I, I sat there, I'll be like on the edge of my seat, like what the fuck about to go down? But it to me, I don't know a lot of the women name. And it's not just me just saying, you know, hey, I don't know it, this and that. It's like they put more emphasis on the women's sport as a team sport than you know how they point point out, oh, he used to start the middle ball or um um I can pull out some other people. Uh yeah. Zion. And you know what I mean? Like how they point out people. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and you know why that is? Is because at, like on every women's sports team, everybody knows who the star is. But at the end of the day, we, we try to win. I'm trying to hoop. And they, these women teams generally just love to hoop. They love the competition. They talk, they shit. They be about to fight just like the rest of the men's sports. Like they really be finna get it in more than the men. If you really watch it. And that that's why I love just, it. It's just they don't, they don't get it as much phrases in the men's sports because it's not as exciting because they're not jumping over somebody dunking and catching them off the backboard or a lob on a fast break you know what i'm saying or a tomahawk and a windmill you know what i'm saying that, that's the only thing that they are missing is that dunking aspect because everything else is matched because i want to see these girls put their pussy lips on the girls necks <laughs> 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 God damn, man. Hey, we said that about us. Yeah. What, what, what Vince Carter yeah, did to the, What Vince Carter did They dig on <laughs> somebody forehead, but his nuts on the imprints yeah. on the back of the niggas' necks. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, that's that's, 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 that's true as well. I feel like yeah, they did that. I feel like they just be like, all right, the NBA is the most popular version, right? You know what's the peak season as far as the during the NBA season? That's what we should have the WNBA season. Like I said, during these big games, like these primetime games, they feel on Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever, like that. Cause like it's been plenty of times I watch TBS, uh, not even just for the whole, you know, halftime and you know, Shaq Kenny and all them, you know what I'm saying? But it'd be oh LeBron playing. I'm watching this man. He plays he could be playing Detroit. I don't care. He's gonna get 50, it's gonna be entertaining. So why not put that WNBA game right before that? Cause you know, yeah. Shaq and Kenny and them gonna hype, you know, get them into mm-hmm. that. They gonna they hype start, it up. They gonna hype it up. And then you got these NBA teams playing these other NBA teams that you know who's going Nobody win. Watch. Yeah, they might get lucky and be like, oh, then y'all lost the sun, so like, but that, come on, man. Like, damn. And then it's some work. crying ass hoopers in the WNBA, bro. Like, why would you wanna watch somebody? Like, they man. are down for you. Oh, man, man. <laughs> man. Side note, I, I gotta Side say note. something. I, I gotta Skylar say Diggins, something. Skylar Diggins will always be the goat because I feel like she. First was of all, Taya Cooper, Taya Cooper is bay. Hey, my girl saying, was Skylar, my girl. Skylar Diggins was she was Moses. She was the one that took she all was the men Moses. and was like, "Fam, look what's over here to WNBA." Yeah, I was she like, did. Oh, oh my she goodness. did. Oh, yeah, oh, she oh, did. Oh, my girl was my girl for a minute though because she has. She on Mount Rushmore just for that. Like she was nice, but her accolades off the court is what oh, yeah. make her the goat. 
Yeah, yeah, she definitely fucking dope. Fucking dope. Go ahead, ask your question, Spike. Spike had a question. My bad. No, it was it it was a question and a statement. (laughs) So I sometimes have a problem with lesbian women. Uh, Everybody, like, like, like we're talking about the WNBA. I'm going to just go ahead and assume a significant portion are lesbian or bisexual. I say half and half. Okay, so like half and half. So say fifty percent, and Uh it's a fine ass lesbian chick that's playing basketball. Like it bothers me because like that fantasy in my head, I can't play out in real life. Why? Because she's gay. Yeah, cause she's gay. <laughs> yeah, no matter, no matter, they look more bush than me. I'm gonna find something to fucking. No, I'm being. Be, no, I'm, I'm gonna be, find I'm something to be like, hey. Hey, you're cap. Some of these fine girls hey. do be having girlfriends, or they're dating somebody on the opposite team. Like, do you guys know who um, T Cloud is? She plays for DC. I gotta see her. She's gay. She has a whole wife. They do TikToks and everything. I think Taya Cooper is dating somebody that's on her team. Lil Shorty with the dread. Mm. Like, like I mean, I was, like, I was that, I I was that way. Like, say. I was that way when I worked at the club, and I was like trying to like shoot my shot, and it was like shooting down. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, it's like, like because I ain't got money because I ain't a dope dealer or something. Who, but then like somebody's like, nah, bro, like they here for money. Like they don't even like that. It's like, wait, what? That's part of and like, it. And like, and when I was finding out how many it was, I was just like, whoa. But then, now that I'm older, this is the problem is that a lot of those women now have kids and are married with men. So it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just interesting. It's just interesting. It's, it's one of those. Yeah, it's a lot of those that are now are gay and now they have husbands or they were having husbands and now they are gay. Yeah. So it's you just, you it's, see it's that. Of, it's, it's just... I don't want to invest that time into. So don't date bisexual women. Well, no, I don't have a problem with bisexual. Because they, they, they want what I got. He talking about you talking about the full leg. Yeah, just full blown, out blown, just full blown lesbians. Listen, could be niggas. Every- like, Why you so damn fun? And you know, yeah, and it's just like, <laughs> oh, fuck, I can't. You know, what I'm the word is like I put I put lesbians in the same category with a fine ass woman that's married. She's mm-hmm. off limits. Yeah. And, it's, and it's just like, fuck, man. Like, I got to find a woman that looks like her. I'll be right back. Well, I mean, these main sports, nine times out of ten, she's either she, she's gay or she's bi. Which I'm is saying in life. Basketball. So, and yeah, in life. But, but I don't know, man. Everybody, every lesbian or bi girl, they start off as, before they experience with men, they're like, I'm lesbian. And then you have the ones that try to make sure that they are lesbians and some of them find out like, okay, I kind of like this and then they're bi. Then you have the ones that's like, ew, I definitely don't like that. I'm good. Like, it is what it is. I don't, it's frustrating. I'm sorry. But, I'm okay. but, but for me, it's more frustrating just because maybe of my life experiences. Like, I know I've had more than my fair share of women. And... I guess it's I guess it's just that all those years of just thinking things are one way and then they're not a certain way. So it's just like, well, if you were into me and then then I could have shot my shot and I you know what I'm saying? It's one of those like what could have been. Oh, okay, yeah. Maybe she didn't know she might have liked men a little bit too back then. Some like I, some I found, women don't know. I found out when I was on um, home on leave that it was a chick that I knew that was a lesbian like she had a kid but I, I think she had got I mean well, I ain't saying no names or anything so I think she got raped and mm. she got the kid like I didn't know that it's like all I knew was like this chick is fine as fuck my man's like was like yeah man like well she got a kid but she and a she and the chicks listen and no he, I and he told, told me what it was and I was like oh okay that was off limits. I still fantasized about it, but I was like, she's off limits. But yeah, yeah I, I could I couldn't let that one go. She was fine as fuck. No, nah, you find out you like years later I'm, I'm home on leave. And apparently, like she had feelings for me, and I didn't know. And I missed my opportunity with her. 
Like he had to tell me, like, shot. You, know, you shoot your shot. You gotta shoot your shot. You gotta stop being scared. Yeah, to but shoot your shot. but again, it kind of goes back into the conversation we having about like catwalks. Like mm-hmm. now we're now we're we're in this in this Me Too movement, and you have to respect women. So you can look. I ain't gonna say you can look at a woman until. Or you can look at someone and tell their sexual preference, but some of the times you can. It feels like it. Like like if a woman like if a woman is dressed in a masculine way, um, like off rip, you be like, okay, well maybe she's not gonna be into me. You kind of kind of fill it out. If you got the time to fill it out, cool. If you don't, so you, you like saying that you can <laughs> see somebody and tell their sexual preference? At times, yeah. I'm definitely I'm, going to like, like, hey, like the nigga thing. No, like, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, but no, like, like if you see a chick and she got uh, a low Caesar, she's sagging her, her jeans like a, like a dude. And like, yeah, that just might be the way she like to dress. And she might just love dick. Like my time in the military, like I've had a lot of bisexual chicks before I joined the military. I had a lot of bisexual chicks that was like that. They were kind of more masculine and butch like. But you would you would never know. I feel like I feel like most lesbians that do that, they probably want they probably want to get there. I say some, I'm not saying all, oh, but some they want to go but, in but there and get their little get their little feel feel for a minute and then get back to you know, the regular schedule program. A lot of a lot of a lot of what you're describing are called stems. They're like the tomboyish, yeah. like like me, like. People, they be like, "Are you a STEM?" And I be like, "If I was strictly into women, yeah, I would. I guess I would be a STEM, but I'm I'm pansexual, so I don't really. But yeah, you could describe me as I they would be STEM. I would be STEM. Like, but no, like I've been out in public and one, I've had women like want to get into a fight with me because it was like, "Nigga, do it look like I like dick." I was like, yeah, no, but you yeah. look like a woman and you got a vagina and I like vagina. So it ain't my yeah. fault that I'm attracted to you. So, you yeah, know, but I, I, all I, I had, I had to kind of like step like back that. and be like, like, am I being offensive to these women? Yeah. By shooting my shot? But, but Fikes, there's a way. <laughs> no, no, no. What I'm saying, saying, what I'm, saying way, I'm being respectful. I'm being respectful. It was, it was. So it was pretty, much, pretty much I used to work at FedEx. And you know, loading up trucks and stuff like that. So I had to get out of the truck because one of the boss asked me to go to another truck, whatever. So it's this this um this dyke, whatever that you know what I mean that were working with me in the truck. She got a fat ass already. So I'm trying to squeeze by. I'm a bit nigga. And the other way was blocked with fucking boxes and shit. So I couldn't get over there unless I want to build my way back, you know, out of that, out of that bitch. So I should have did that shit, thinking hindsight. But I was over here, but I was over here <laughs> walking past, trying to get past. I was like, yo, you know, in my whole excuse me mode, excuse me, excuse me. But my hand was like this. It was like this down here. So I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to suck in my stomach, trying to suck in my penis, like I said before, trying to make sure I don't touch none of this. Person. I don't know how you do that. What muscle contracts your? Yeah, hey, I didn't know hey, you can retract I, penis. I, I was, I was like dead puppies. And <laughs> all this in my head. I was trying to make sure my shit turned into a turtle in two seconds, <laughs> so I can come out, so I can c- come get past this person without getting, you know, getting getting in trouble. You know what I mean? On some other shit. So I'm moving over. Like I said, she got a fat ass anyway. I'm a big nigga. So the 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 whole tr- truck thing, we got the little thing that come into the trailer. You know, the the conveyor belt or whatever. Yeah. So I'm over here. Like, okay, I'm going. I'm, I'm trying to pass by. I accidentally brushed the ass with my hand on this hand with the last hand I'm supposed to come out on by accident. And she turned around and was like, hey, stop with that gay shit. And I was like, oh, my bad, bruh. And then I was like, hold up, wait a minute. <laughs> All right. So So you so you 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 pretty much touched the Mahu's ass. No, 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 no. no. That was that. I had a story about Amahu. Oh, okay. I was saying, I was this, saying this is with a, my uh, story, a, a lesbian, masculine. Uh, what you call it? Like a stud. A stud. Yeah, stud. Yeah. Stud. Oh, yeah. yeah. Stud. You'll see. He, you'll see the whole conversation when he, you edit. He, <laughs> no, it wasn't. He, he rubbed again. No, 
the stud's booty and she said, stop with all that gay shit. And he well, was confused on why. He, she said. Be, they be, yeah, so I explained oh. it. He was like, okay. okay. Yeah. No, I was, my, thing, my thing is this. is like, Why would your hands down dude, here, though? Why would that, and that's what that I part, said. Okay, that that part, part, I hey, I'm not going to lie to you. I was musty that day, so I didn't want to fucking got down. So you rather, you rather assault her than to offend her. All well, right. I, thought, I thought I was I was finesse enough to be... Her. I got a question. I got a question. What it would have been? Was, what, what if it was way? a dude? What was it? If, what if it was a dude? Would you have went past him? Oh, oh, that way? nigga catch it all the musk. I mean, that bitch like, hey. Or, or, or why not? Why not turn around? Like, like oh, no, the age old question. Said, if you want an airplane, if you want an airplane, no, 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 no. What I'm saying is, if you want an airplane, you got the window seat. Somebody sit next to you. You got to piss. Do you pick the ass or the dick? Which one do you put in their face? Do not put your hard. ass cheeks in my face, okay? Your ass is way worse. Yeah, I was you in a confined, you in a confined space. If you go into the bathroom, either you gotta piss or shit. shit and uh-huh. niggas fart when they piss, so you probably got one in the chamber, and that shit could probably <laughs> eat, easily bang. So you face you know the person, right? So you face this person, but and they see they the like, dick. man, yo, stop with that. Some of that gay shit. Like hey, they, they can either have you pink eyes. They, face. they can have pink eyes or they can close their eyes. It's one or the other. It's, it's so, so in your in scenario, face, why, why would you why would you please pass a woman with your your penis facing her, her butt? Why not go butt to butt? That would have been like, like, like that would have like been still that would have been still, that's, 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 that's but it wouldn't have been as too. bad. It wouldn't have been as bad because you didn't have right. to feel your meat rub across her butt. Right or your hand? Yeah, that, or your meat. Gonna, but see, I got past it. my meat got past, and I was happy. So yeah, I guess it. I pre I celebrated prematurely <laughs> and got down <laughs> and got down. Think I was game. free. <laughs> yeah. got, uh, thinking I was yeah. free, and I was like, oh. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. But that's what I'm saying. So would you would have been? Would you would have went past a man like that, facing him? No, I told you I will. I will fucking. Like I said, I was much so that day. So you would face so a I man's went, ass went, and like squeeze look, past his look, ass. My mama told me, <laughs> my mama told me not to be musty around <laughs> women. I already big. <laughs> Got it. I had to put I've the fat yet. boy voice. I had to put the fat boy voice on you. I have yet, already. I have yet to still understand the reason why y'all wanted me to go back to record this. <laughs> like none of this shit <laughs> is, going, is sponsor worthy or sponsor where they gonna be like, yeah, let's put money behind this shit. This segment. Hey man, look, 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 look. look. Talking about Charlamagne said. Charlamagne said worse. <laughs> yeah, well they also got corporations. On we got work oh, true, 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 but true. we're gonna go ahead and transition. You know what I'm saying? Because. Obviously, bad home at all, but the bad omens happened today. So, oh, don't tell me my, my guy ain't coming. I figured that. Oh, oh man, don't tell me my guy ain't coming, oh, bro. Man. So, let's just go ahead. Uh, I guess this is the end of people tales. <laughs> y'all have to wait till Wednesday. <laughs> all right, hey, y'all gonna love this people tales. 